Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and in today's video I want to talk about and use one of these eyeshadow palettes that I got from Colourpop. This is a part of their Love Struck collection and these palettes are $10 a piece and it is somewhat new to Colourpop's website. There has been like two other collection launches since then so these are kind of already getting old which is crazy and I did order these on the day of launch and it did take a little bit to get to me and I didn't do a video right away because I wanted to use the products um I did use this one this one is crush and this one is a little more warmer toned and you do have five shades and this one does not have a pressed glitter. Three mattes and a shimmer. And then this is kind of like one of those matte shades with the glitter in it. And here is Ballad. Now this one is the more cooler, you know, silver gray one. I do have to note that when I got these palettes, they came kind of like um, very dusty. Like they did not do well in travel. And this shade right here looked like it was about to crumble apart and I kind of pushed it back into the pan. And I only used this palette once and it is pretty, you know, dusty. There is quite a bit of fallout with these shadows. They're very, very powdery, but I do like the shades. And then we have a more, and this is the more like purpley, you know, plum palette. And this is the palette I'm going to use today. I haven't used this palette yet, and this one does have a glitter in it, but the glitter, it, it doesn't seem as loose. It kind of has like a, a sticky base to it, and it's really pretty. I know these glitters are not eye safe, but you kind of have to use it at your own risk. And the packaging is a plastic packaging, and it reminds me a lot of Natasha Denona's packaging. This is my mini retro. So the packaging is very similar with the type of plastic. And the ColourPop is just a little bit bigger. The mini retro is $25 and the ColourPop is $10. So there is quite a price difference. And then I just wanna show you compared to the e.l.f. bite size. The, the e.l.f. bite size are only $3, but they have one less shade and they're quite smaller in packaging but very similar like feel. And when I placed that order, I also ordered this. This is the 4th Ray Beauty. It's a part of ColourPop skincare line. And this is the Oat Face Milk. milk. And it's supposed to be comforting and moisture boosting. And here it is right here. I don't notice much of, scent, of a scent with this one. And it it's very light and it's definitely like a very light serum type moisturizer. And I have actually been using it as a primer. And I feel like it's really smooth and it is quite hydrating, but it's light, light on the skin. So for me, this would be more of like a daytime moisturizer um, or a primer, which I've been using. And I feel like my skin looks really nice when I use it. These palettes aren't super unique. And I did do swatches and comparisons to other ColourPop palettes that I own. So I will randomly keep putting them in this video so you could see the comparisons. There are some differences, but they're very, they're very, they're nothing unique about the color stories in these palettes. But let's just get in and start playing with a more. Like I said, they're very, very dusty, but I'm going to go into the shade Passion with a fluffy brush. I'm going to put this all over my eyes and like you can see very very dusty but as long as I you know um tap my brush I don't get a lot of fallout on my face which is nice and I feel like the shades do have pigmentation and do work fairly well but you're not going to get a lot of different looks out of these palettes you can mix and match to make more unique looks but for the most part they're more of a you're going to get pretty much the same type of look with each palette, you know? But the reason why I am so drawn to these small, like, bite-sized palettes is because, I don't know, I think it's easy. Like, easy for everyday look, and you don't have to think too much if you're 
um, a beginner in makeup, I think it's really nice because there's not like, it's not so overwhelming. And I did just dip into Darling, the deepest shade in the palette. And I'm going to work that in my outer area. I'm going to try to do more of a V shape. I usually just like put a block of color. It's really pretty and I didn't go in with too much product and I'm still getting a lot of you know pigment and it seems to be blending nice and it doesn't look patchy and a little's going a long way it's really stretching i almost feel like they're two different colors on each eye i don't understand why i'm getting like this one looks more cooler deeper purple i'm gonna go back in with passion and try to blend it out a little I'm not sure why it looks like two different colors, honestly. Okay, and I do want to go in with this shade, Romeo. It's like that matte with the sparkle. Lots of product comes up. This is very, very, like, lots of um, dust. And I want to take that and kind of, I don't know, blend it in to the crease as well. I don't notice any glitter like on my eye. I feel like the glitter kind of blends away, but it's getting really dramatic really quick. And the two shimmer, well, we only have one like shimmer shade and it's like this deeper cranberry plum shade called Woo. And then you have the glitter affair. So first I want to go in with Woo. And I want to place it. I'm just kind of doing like my classic looks I normally do. I'm going to place it in the center. I am having a hard time getting it to stick using a brush. But it is a deep, deep, pretty color. There's quite a bit of pigment in these shimmers. I noticed with the other palettes, when I use them, the shimmer, the shimmer aspect of it kind of disappeared, but the pigment stayed behind, if that makes any sense. Like you don't see a lot of shine with the shimmers, or at least it doesn't stay long in my eyes. But of course I haven't tried to wet it. Normally I don't wet my eyeshadows and I am getting a tiny bit of fallout with that shimmer. And then I want to add a little glitter. Why not? I'm going to try using my brush, see how that goes. But it does seem to have like a somewhat of a sticky base to like adhere to the eye. And I mean, obviously, ooh, if you have a glitter glue, that would be your preferred method to apply it so the, shadow, so the glitter has something to stick to. But I just wanted to see how it would work without a glitter glue. I mean, it's really pretty. The one palette I really wanted to get was Lyric. That was like the more, um, I don't know, neutral brown one. And that one just sold out immediately. Right now, ColourPop is actually having a sale on their website. These palettes, I believe they're on sale for like $7.50 or is it $8.50? So, don't quote me on it. But yeah, they're everything on ColourPop's website. I was really tempted to make an order, but I have been purchasing new releases and makeup like crazy. I need to take a chill pill because I can't even keep up with all of it to make videos. <laughs> like I need to make videos and the products that I bought that I haven't yet. So really pretty, really sparkly. And I'm just gonna go in with that shimmer woo. And just kind of like, Press it over it a little. What I do think this palette is missing is a light shimmer. But because these palettes are so small though, you can mix and match with different palettes in your collection. And the shimmer is kind of like a moussey texture. When I push into it, you could see like it moving around. Almost similar to like a super shock, but I don't think it is a super shock formula. Okay, I'm going to use some liner on my eyes real quick. I'm going to use the ABH liquid liner. 
I haven't used this in a while. I've had had this liner for so long, but it's, it is a really nice matte liner. The liner seemed to go over the glitter just fine. I am noticing a little glitter fallout on this side, but not too bad for the fallout department though. I'm gonna try to use this liner I got at like a makeup sale. It's from the brand She, and this is just a white eyeliner. I'm gonna try to see how it works in my waterline. It worked, but I felt like I really had to build it up like, and it's not as bright as I wanted it. The ColourPop Cream Gel Liners are really good. I only have a few of those. I have like the neon colors. I would love to get more of those. Okay, and now for my lower lash line, I want to go in with Darling. I'm using a liner brush. This isn't the best liner brush. I usually get fallout when I use this because it seems like the pigment just doesn't stick to these brush. Ooh, I feel like I'm already getting hard pan. Yeah, I'm getting hard pan in this shade. I don't know why. I did swatch these, but that's strange. Then I'm going to take this Sephora brush, this like smaller buffing brush. It is called Pre Precision Smudge Brush. And I want to go into Passion, the lightest one in the palette and buff out that line I created. And for mascara, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara. I feel like every time I use it, I like it more and more. Okay, that is it for my look overall. I think these are really nice shadows. I don't think they're anything unique or revolutionary. I am almost positive if you're a makeup lover like myself, you already have similar tones in your collection. And like I said, the color stories are nothing unique or they're just very basic. But if you have a smaller collection and you like this like how it's only five shades and you like that it's sleek and you know, you could just don't have to think about it. You could do the same exact look every single day. Um, I think they're really nice. And I, I do like the packaging. Out of the three that I own, I the one I'm probably the most drawn to would be Ballad. I think this one has a really good range of light to deep tones. And it pretty much has everything you need to create like a complete balanced look. And this one as well has a good range from light to deep as well. This one's really pretty too, but it's a pr when you think about it, it's a pretty deep palette. Like you don't really have a lot of the lighter shades. I mean, this one is, but it's a matte. I would have, I think it's missing like a light sh shimmer, something for like a highlighting shade. That's just my opinion. But otherwise, I think they're really nice and. I mean, ten dollars is a, I feel like is a little high um, compared to like ColourPop's prices, like drugstore palettes. And these are only three dollars. You do get one less shade, but the Elf ones are really great, an awesome formula, and a really great option if you are looking for like these bite-sized palettes. Like, and you do have different, you know, shades and variations of these as well. And the oat face milk I thought was really nice and I do agree it did feel, feel smoothing on my face and I, it just felt really smooth. I don't know. I did enjoy this and in the future I'd like to try more face milk uh, products from ColourPop. Okay, but that is it guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I will have a wet and wild um, try on soon with some of their new products, which, which I'm very excited to do. I already played in some of the products. And so far, a little spoiler, I am very impressed. But okay, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye.